guys, welcome to my channel. Uh, today I'm actually really excited. I am going to be doing a recreation of Jaclyn Hill's newest um, YouTube video. Her newest video is the modern day bridal makeup tutorial. I am going to list that down below so you guys can take a look. Um, I'm going to be doing a little bit different. So I already did my base. I did my foundation, concealer, powder. Um, I did my brows. All I really have to do is just my eyes. I just wanted to recreate her eye look because I thought it was so, so pretty. I tried to um, screenshot it and post it so you guys can see how gorgeous her eye makeup looks. She did use her Jaclyn Hill palette, which I am still so obsessed with i love this palette so so much i do find myself reaching for this a lot just because there are so many colors um so i wanted to recreate her look i did my base for my base i already used all of my regular products so i usually use the peachy collection from Too faced and i used that just to get this down and i'm going to be following her look so if you want to see my recreation of her modern day bridal look, then keep on watching. Okay, hey, welcome so... back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be doing my take on like the modern she bridal. She did all of her face Asian, makeup. I'm going looks, to skip that. She also has really dry skin. So if you have really, really dry skin, she's actually a really good YouTuber to watch. So she usually does powder underneath the eye. I, as you guys usually know, go in with my tape. So I'm just going to tape my eyes. All right, my eyes are all taped. So let's get started. Okay, so she is going to go in with the shade Silk Cream, which is this shade right here. Cream right here. This is and always the first shade that I go in when I do any neutral makeup look whatsoever. She's going to use that as a transition. And she's going to put that into her crease. So let's do that. I'm just going in with a fluffy brush. Now her video is 47, 40 minutes long, 42 minutes long. Um, I wanted to bring that down because I thought that was a longer video and I try not to do long videos just because I don't want to keep you guys here all day. But if you guys like long videos, let me know and I can start doing them. I'm um, making this color a little intense just because I find this color to be so 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 pretty so she also takes that silk cream and she brings it out a little bit i know that she isn't going for a pointy um look like a nice cat eye so i'm going to try really really hard not to do that too Okay, so next she's going to go in with the shade Pukey, which is this shade right here. And she's going to go in with a bigger brush, which is this, which is what I'm going to use. Um, she's using her Jaclyn Hill uh, brush collection. I don't have that at the moment, so I'm just going to go in with a bigger brush right underneath the transition. She's taking that shade and she's putting that right underneath the shade Silk Cream. There we go. Now for the outer eye, she kind of just lightly drags when there's nothing left on the brush. So that line is not so intense. Okay, let's see what she does next. So she's going to take the shade Buns, which is this shade right here, and she's going to stamp that on the outer part of her eye. I'm using a more dense brush right now. I'm just going to stamp. And then she's going to do the same exact thing and just kind of wipe. So because she is taking away the under eye powder, I am going to take off my eye tape just so I can try to get rid of those sharp lines because she is not doing those sharp lines. Okay, so I'm all blended. Now let's see what she does next. 
she also took buns and she stamped that into um, the inner part of her eye. So I'm going to go back in with the brush and just stamp that all in. Okay, so next she's going to go in with this shade right here. This is the shade Central Park. And she's just going to stamp that into the outer part of her eye. So go in with a really light hand because you would rather have to build up than put it on and be like, oh my god, it's way too dark. So let's stamp that in. I'm still going in with the dense brush. Now with this, you don't want to go too high up. And you want to blend so it's not light and then dark, which is that right there. This is kind of my own twist and take on this tutorial, just because I want to make this kind of like an everyday sort of look. So I don't want it to be too wham bam in your face, ma'am. So I feel like this is also a really, really nice fall makeup look just because of the dark colors. I think that it looks so, so pretty. So she also kind of stamps it on to the lid just to make it blend a little bit more. So that is what I'm going to do. So she's going to do these two shades right here. This is Obsess and this is SBN. SBN stands for Smoky But Natural, as she stated. And she did hers with um, a little bit of spray. I'm not going to do spray. I kind of want to see how it looks without the spray. So I'm just going to dip into these two and I'm going to place that on the inner corner of my eye. Okay, so I kind of need... Um, a little bit of spray because she is right it's not as bright as it should be so I'm gonna be right back and I'm gonna get some spray so she uses the Mac uh, fix plus spray I believe and I don't have that um, I actually heard from I believe it was Casey Holmes or some other youtuber that if you just spray your brush with like water or what it or something that's gonna show up really really pigmented I don't want to spray it with water but I do I did get the elf hydrating water essence so I wanted to spray with this because I thought that this might be something that I could use so I'm just going to open that up. This actually isn't a spray, it's more of like a, you kind of dab it on. So I'm just gonna take my brush and just wet it just a little bit. So I'm gonna go back in with those two shades while my brush is still wet and just apply. And I'm gonna stamp that on. See, that made a difference. It definitely looks a bit more vibrant. Um, I did get the e.l.f. Um, hydrating water from uh, Ulta, I believe. I can link that down below. I actually never wet a brush before I put on um, Sparkly Shadow. And I kind of feel like when I do wet the brush, it kind of makes it look like... You know when you... Um, when you do a cut crease and how bright that makeup looks on that cut crease that's what this reminds me of and I really really like that I love that bright like metallic look I think that's so so pretty and I love going in with a smaller brush when I do these types of things just because I feel like I can get that more precise color application so next she takes the shade sbn which is this right here and with her finger she just applies it to the outer part of the eye okay so i kind of like just leaving the inner part of the eye glittery but so i just put a little bit on the outer part of the eye compared to her so she is going into her Ring the Alarm palette. I do not have that palette. I am just working with this palette today. And that color is more of like a, it's not like a burgundy, but it's kind of like a burgundy reddish color. Um, I don't have that palette. So I'm going to mix this color right here, which is the shade Jax. And I'm going to mix with it with this uh, brown shade right here which is called chip and she is putting that on the outer part of her eye so I'm just going to 
go with that kind of just stamp it okay so that was pretty intense i'm just going to take a blending brush kind of just blend that out so then she goes back in with the shade pukey which is the second color that we use which is this orange brownie color and i'm just gonna blend that a little bit with, you want to go and do this with a very, very light hand. So then she's going to go in with this shade right here, which is in light. And she's just going to put that underneath her brow bone. And usually I don't do under the brow um, highlights, but I feel like it's actually a very good, very good shade to do this with. So she's bringing that shade all the way out. I actually don't want to do that. I want to leave it, um, I'm, I kind of blended it out a little bit, if you guys can tell. So I kind of stopped right here, but I did blend it so there weren't any lines. I kind of want to leave it like that just because I do like that look. But obviously for a wedding day, you might want to, um, leave your a little bit brighter then she's going to use her finger and she's going to go in with the shade and light again and she's going to put that just on the center of her eyelid just to make it pop that's kind of like a halo look effect so i'm just going to make it pop a little bit i'm going in with a pretty light hand when doing this so then what she's going to do is she is going in with the shade pukey again which is that middle shade and she is taking that and she is bringing that from the outer corner to the inner corner so i am going to use a more precise brush i'm going to use a pencil brush and just bring that in so then she's going to go in with more of a definer brush and she is going to go in with the shade Central Park and kind of just put that right up against the lash line. Kind of just stamping that on. Then she's going to go in with the shade Buns which is this shade right here. And with that shade, she's just going to go in with the pencil brush and she's just going to blend everything out. So next, she's going to go in with mascara. Um, I actually don't use mascara just because I do have my lash extensions on and I don't want to ruin them. So right now, if you do want to do that, just put on the um, mascara, then put on some falsies. She also puts on a white liner on the inner part of her eye. Um, I actually don't want to do that again because of my lashes. So I'm trying to stay away from um, doing a lot of mascara or liners or things like that. So I'm just going to stick with this right here. And then I'm just going to put on a lip. She uses a different lip liner than I'm going to use, but she is going to use the same lip color. Um, I'm going to use the Kylie Cosmetics lip liner and lip color in the shade Candy K. And this is the liquid matte lipstick. And I'm just going to line and fill my lips with the lip liner. As you guys can see, I love this lip and lip liner so so much this is probably my favorite color that is why it is basically really tiny and used so I'm just gonna go ahead and line my lips now that my lips are lined I'm going to go ahead and put the Kylie lipstick right on my lips so this is the completed look I hope that you guys like this. I hope that you guys recreate it. Like I said, it is different from Jaclyn Hill's bridal tutorial. I kind of wanted to make it a um, everyday look. I feel like this is actually a really, really good look for fall. So I wanted to sort of do my own spin on it. Let me know if you guys like these types of videos. If you want to see more of me recreating um, other influencers' looks other influencers videos i am so so happy to do that um i love this jacqueline hill palette 
and I would love to do more of these looks. Um, I do follow her. I follow Casey Holmes. I follow uh, Nikki Tutorials. There was a, a Manny MUA when he was doing videos. So I would love to recreate their looks but with my own style and spin on it. But thank you guys so so much for watching. That is it for this video right here. Uh, let me know if you guys like this. Please give it a thumbs up if you do. Please comment and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you guys can get notified. And please check out my blog too. I noticed that my blog is getting a lot more traction. I will link it down below. But thank you guys so so much for watching. Let me know what other videos you guys want to see. If you want to see hauls, if you want to see makeup tutorials, everyday looks, me recreating other YouTubers looks. I will be so so happy to do that. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!